What is going on guys? Welcome to your 770th, there we go, draft tutorial, and in this tutorial we're going to be going over something called JList. Now what JList is, is it's pretty much a list for your GUI, and when you click on one of the options, we can make an event happen, such as, in this case, switching the background color. So let's go ahead and get started. If you can't tell, I imported one more thing here. So make sure you have all of your imports right here. If you need them, pause the screen but you probably don't so I'm just gonna go ahead and minimize those right there and now we're good to go the first thing we're gonna need to do is make a variable for that JList so let's go ahead and make private JList because that's what type it is and I'm gonna name mine list for simplicity now after this what program we're gonna be making is we're gonna have a list of colors and when you click on one of those colors it changes the background so we're gonna have two arrays one for the color name and one for the actual colors themselves that the computer can recognize so one that we can recognize and one the computer can recognize so let's go ahead and make our first array um, just the color names that we can recognize so it's going to be private static string it's just going to be the names of the colors and just name it color names and we'll set it equal to uh, let's go have a color like black blue red and white. We we'll have four colors in our list. Can have more if you want, but uh, I'm just gonna have these basic ones. And make sure to put them all in quotation marks, like this. And then in your line with a semicolon, bam, you're good to go. So I have four color names in our first array called color names. Now the second thing I want to do is build an array of colors that the computer can understand. So go ahead, private, static. Again, I'm gonna name this array color or excuse me, it's going to be of the color type and I'm going to name it colors and in this list we're going to put the colors in the way that Java sees them and that's this color dot black all in caps so that's how Java sees colors or recognizes them it's from the color class and then you write the name of the color all in caps and our next one's blue so color dot blue all in caps and our next one's red so color dot red all in caps and color dot white so now we should be good to go looks like we aren't getting any errors and now let's go ahead and we have our three variables pretty much list color names and colors we can go ahead and be build our constructor or window so go ahead and build your constructor and it's not going to take any arguments just go ahead and do some housekeeping stuff add the title and where are you at cursor Ugh, got the hiccups embarrassing and next thing you want to do is set the layout and just gonna set this to normal flow layout by putting new flow layout I wonder why they capitalized the F in that one pretty weird and don't forget your empty parameters so now we have a title and the layout now we can go ahead and start messing with our list the first thing we want to do with our list variable is actually create something and what we need to do is create a new JList and the parameter JList takes is an array of what you want the person to see and we want the person to see the color names is the options so let's go ahead and just write color names in here um, you don't need it in uh, like quotation marks or anything like that so now we have a list and it pretty much is just a list of color names what we want to do now is set how many rows or pretty much the height of the list so go ahead and take that list and put set visible there we go row count right there too easy and what this is is how many options the user can see by default now if you put like they can only see four but there's like ten items in the list a little scroll bar is gonna appear on the right but since we only have four and we put four then it should fit just perfect um, the next thing you want to do is go list set uh, what's it called S selection mode there we go right there set selection mode and for the parameter it takes is this some lists allow you to select one thing or another thing and some lists um, allow you to select multiple items the one we want to use is we only want to be able to have a single selection at a time so we're gonna have as a parameter list selection model dot 
just single underscore selection just like this and now instead of like clicking control and selecting many things or shift the user can only select one thing in our list at a time so now the last thing we need to do since we got our list all made is just add it to the window or well yeah that's all we need to do add it to the window so add new j scroll pane and of course we want to add our list to here and now we added our um, list to the window pretty much so in the next tutorial we're going to be adding some functionality to this list and it's a little different than the other tutorials I'm going to be teaching you something even um, newer and easier in the next tutorial but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out the next tutorial so I'll see you then